Bishop, the preparedness pro I'm just sharing with you another little simple trick one of the things that I got to thinking when I really started playing around in the kitchen and really loving to cook is when a recipe calls for just plain water why use just plain water if you can have water that's flavored uh, both purposefully or because it's left over from something that you've emptied out it's the broth the remaining broth or something of that nature sometimes that's really just that extra special touch that makes the dish taste so much better so for example, even though you do not have to put water in your canned meats, I do always put water in my canned chicken broth because it's free broth. It's got to fill up, I'm filling up the spaces that the chicken wasn't going to use anyway. And so I never waste the broth that's left over in here. There's also a little bit of fat in it, so it's really yummy. Another thing is though, is I like to use the Shirley J. Bullions. Um, they have chicken and they have beef. I have looked high and low for a chicken bullion that actually contained chicken in it and I could not find it anywhere until a few years ago I discovered Shirley J's product and it actually has chicken fat in it. Now a little disclaimer here, um, Shirley J kind of made a little snafu in their marketing decision. I guess they had a lot of calls where people were looking for a vegetarian chicken bullion. Well, of course, if you have a vegetarian chicken bouillon, that's not chicken bouillon, it's just a bunch of chemicals. And so I don't really care for that. So you actually have to be very specific with uh, Shirley J or whoever you're getting your Shirley J products from to make sure you're getting the version that actually has chicken fat in it. Um, because they switched over everything in their mainstream marketing to the vegetarian version of chicken bouillon. Insane. Anyway, so I know that Five Star Preparedness does have the chicken bouillon still with the chicken fat in it. But to me that just made so much more sense. Also, this particular chicken bouillon, there was a wonderful little taste test that they did with several different um, franchises that you would know, that you would recognize. And most chefs in the kitchen of the restaurants, they don't like to use a powder bouillon because it typically has way too much sodium in it or tastes too salty. They usually use a paste. In fact, if you have a Winco in your area, in the bulk section, you'll see a paste-like uh, chicken bouillon option. Anyway, but that's so much more expensive. Anyway, in a blind taste test, the Shirley J Chicken Bouillon won, hands down. It was so much less expensive, and it actually was the least sodium option. So there's another benefit for you as well. All I need is a half a teaspoon for one cup of a really nice flavored chicken broth. So in this case, I needed four cups for my recipe. Um, I wasn't able to use all of the, the broth to give me all the, the moisture that I needed, and so I just added a little bit of uh, the powdered chicken bouillon to this. Just mix it up, and voila! Another thing that I use when I try to make elevate water, for lack of a better word, is I will use the powdered remains of any of the vegetables um, when I use the freeze-dried cans, because you don't always you don't use everything in a number 10 can. There's always going to be little particles at the bottom of the can. Don't waste that. Uh, vacuum pack it in a mason jar or at least in a food saver pack and you can use that to elevate it. Instead of just using water, you can give an additional flavor enhancement. For example, uh, the recipe that I'm going to use today, I'm actually using uh, powdered celery pieces from my freeze-dried celery. and It's just going to elevate the, the flavor that much more. So there's my little hint for the day. Hope it helps you. Next time it's a recipe calls for just water, see if there's a way you can elevate it. See you next time. Good change the